So I, I want to thank all of our moderators and panelists again. It's been just a terrific day of robust discussions. And yes, we could all keep talking about this. Um, and thanks to everyone in the audience for taking time out of your busy days to join us. Um, I certainly feel like I've learned a lot and I hope you all have too. Uh, and I hope you're all now as excited about fermentation as we are. So before we officially end today's programming, I'd like to turn the stage back over to GFI's executive director, Bruce Friedrich, for closing remarks. Really, really fantastic. This has been quite a day. Thank you very much, Caroline. Uh, and thank you to everybody who participated throughout the day. We got this comment from during one of the panels. David Silber wrote, quote, everything about this symposium is giving me life. Uh, for people who don't know, David is the ultimate OG in fermentation. He is the head of fermentation at Noma, which is uh, consistently ranked as the world's best restaurant. And he literally wrote the book on fermentation, the Noma Guide to Fermentation. So um, I'm gonna offer one take home from each of the five panels and then just make a few final remarks. Uh, all of this should take me less than five minutes. So uh, panel one, uh, AB InBev tells us that they could create 400 million cows worth of protein with simply 30% of their capacity, which sits dormant in the winter. Uh, panel two, um, I loved the line from Mark that a pilot is essential. Uh, a lot of people think they can skip the pilot. Uh, you can pilot at scale or you can try to do it at production scale, but the latter is going to be crazy expensive. So don't skip the pilot. Uh, panel three on traditional fermentation. So excited to hear that the world's largest conventional meat company has started Plantera Foods to expand into new ways of feeding the world. Uh, and he talked eloquently about fish. Uh, panel four, biomass fermentation. Uh, loved hearing from corn. They have been doing biomass fermentation since 1985. Uh, the other three panelists have started just in the last few years. And they talked about how insanely sustainable it is to make whole biomass products, including whole meat cuts. Uh, loved Thomas Jonas's line, we can make these, pro these proteins regardless of the weather and we can make them anywhere. Uh, and then finally, panel five, harnessing microbial hosts as cell factories. Um, I love the discussion uh, that happened in the middle of the panel and then was reiterated at the end about the importance of strategic partnerships. So. Uh, Motif has an investor in the massive dairy company, Fonterra. Uh, Clara, one of their key massive ingredient company, Ingredion. Uh, Perfect Day has ADM as one of their top investors. ADM is also uh, invested, invested in Nature's Fine. So, um, so much. And I hope people will go back uh, and review the panels. We'll be sending everybody who registered those videos. Uh, five final quick points. Uh, the first one is if you want to learn more, a great place to start is GFI's 72-page fermentation report. All of GFI's, GFI's reports are free of charge, uh, and they are all significantly more authoritative than any of the paid reports because this is GFI's industry. We have more than 100 full-time team members focused on alternative proteins. We have teams in India, Israel, Brazil, Asia Pacific, and Europe, in addition to the United States. Uh, and as today made clear, we have the best possible connections. So please down that, download that report at gfi.org slash industry. Uh, point two, please join the GFI communities. We have both a monthly SciTech seminar online as well as a monthly innovation seminar online. So go to gfi.org and join the GFI, DIA, GFI DIA's community. Uh, please also scroll down to the bottom of gfi.org and make sure that you're getting our e-news if you're not currently. Um, and then finally, if you would like our monthly hi highlights, uh, please reach out to me via LinkedIn and send me your email address. So we hope you found value in today's events, in today's event. Um, all of our work with researchers, with investor communities, with policymakers, with companies across the supply chain, as well as our research grant program. All of it is 100% fueled by philanthropy. So many thanks to our generous family of donors. Uh, they make it possible for us to do all of the work that we do. If you are interested in learning more about giving to GFI, 
please visit our website or contact us at the email address that is being dropped into the chat as I speak. That is it from everybody at GFI. We thank you so much for your help in making this event a success. Uh, and we thank you so much for spending some time with us and your interest in alternative proteins. Thank you.